right, everybody. So today we have Chase Cerbone from the University of Kentucky College of Dentistry. Chase, how are you doing today, man? I'm doing good, man. Uh, loving this weather. I'm currently in South Florida, so I'm soaking it up while I got it. Uh, right, right. I can't really complain, man. Everything's all good. No, Florida's amazing. You, you should not complain. It is, it is amazing out there. I'm in Atlanta, so I mean, we're, I'm kind of in the same type of, same type of climate. Uh, but no, no, this is definitely better than uh, being up north in the cold because uh, it's still kind of chilly up there in Boston. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So um, if you can, give us a, a quick, brief description of your dental school journey. So where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what you major in, and did you take a year off? Yeah, so I'm originally from Jupiter, Florida. It's a uh, somewhat of a small beach town, just about 45 minutes or so uh, north of Fort Lauderdale. Um, grew up here, pretty much lived here most of my life. I went to Florida Atlantic University. It's a uh, college up uh, down in Boca. Um, and I was a biology major, and I also did a minor in healthcare administration. Mm -hmm. um, right after I graduated uh, undergrad, there was a couple months lag period, and then I went straight into dental school. So technically, I didn't take a year off. Okay. Okay. And so I'm assuming that you did really well on your DAT, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for you to go straight through. So. Everybody always asks us, you know, what's the number one tip to get a good score on your DAT? And so I just kind of want to you know, ask you your advice with regards to this subject. Yeah, um, obviously the DAT is, you know, a crucial piece of the puzzle when getting an acceptance. Um, and, you know, everyone's going to be different. Uh, everyone's going to have their own study pace. Everyone's going to have their, their own background knowledge. Um, so I definitely think the key to being successful on the DAT is to be very well organized and be uh, very meticulous in your study. You got to be dedicated. Um, I know personally, uh, I spent six months studying. You know, I knew that I was working 40 hour shifts, taking full time classes, so I couldn't just put all that aside, study for two, three months and do as well as I needed. Yep. So, you know, that's definitely why I say, you know, get organized, get your priorities in line and just be realistic with uh, what your situation is and then just set out to conquer. Right. And so, I mean, you're a good, you're a great example of the fact that it can be done. You know, I think that a lot of yeah. people, you know, we typically suggest like if people are able to um, not do anything, so not work that, you know, those 40 hour shifts, but, you know, if you have to do it or if you want to do it, you can still do that and succeed in the DAT. So now that's great. That's great. And so, um, so you're from Florida. You're at the University of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Were you able to, like, were there any type of, like, pre-dental programs where you could, like, show your face or do anything of that nature so that you could get familiar with, with the school or anything? Like, does your school have any, like, pre-dental programs like that? or So, so University of Kentucky has – actually a ton of pre-dental stuff. Okay. I didn't learn about, uh, about what they had going on until I was already there, mm -hmm. um, but it's actually quite impressive. They do, the administrative uh, faculty puts on several pre-dental events, uh, whether it be a tour of the college, whether it be a hands-on work workshop. Um, I know I, I just participated uh, when I was there, uh, it was February, it was a pre-dental tour of the college, and it included a hour-long session of drilling with a high speed with teeth, which I thought was super impressive. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. A, a bunch of pre-dental students doing class ones, class twos. I was like, man, right? I had this. <laughs> uh, and then uh, students like myself took them on a full tour of of the college, the clinic, the classrooms, the uh, student areas. So it's really great um, what the University of Kentucky does to really show what life is like as a dental student and what sets the University of K Kentucky apart from other colleges. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, so, wow. That's awesome. I'm so impressed about the drilling. Anyway, <laughs> um, so you, you applied, got an interview. Um, of course, a lot of pre-dents, 
have a lot of anxiety when it comes to the interview process. So can you kind of walk us through what your interview day was like? Yeah, so uh, interview started bright and early in the morning. Uh, I remember it was, my interview was in February, so it was cold. Yeah. Uh, something a boy from South Florida was not prepared for. Uh, so I get into the clinic uh, or into the area. Everyone's very welcoming. How you doing? Uh, are you cold? <laughs> kind of seeing how I was doing. Like get me anything. Uh, it was actually great. Um, we have such a great administrative faculty. They really make you feel at home. And I had literally just met them five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the interview process, um, I was terrified, absolutely terrified, you know, as you could imagine. But uh, the interview itself was very conversational. Um, you know, I went on a couple interviews and I felt the best uh, when I was doing my interview at University of Kentucky, just because it wasn't uh, the standard two or three on one, just rifling off questions. Uh, we were just talking about my journey, a couple of things that were on my application and really just, they were just getting to know me and in vice versa, I was getting to know them because they actually gave me an opportunity to ask a bunch of questions myself. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. And so you interviewed and obviously you got in. Well, actually, another quick question. So I'm, uh, did you apply to other schools and did you get interviews at other schools? Yeah, so I applied, I applied to 16 schools and I uh, interviewed at five or six of them. So I'm interested, because you're from Florida, yeah. what was it about the University of Kentucky that made you say like, this is where I wanna be? Yeah, so um, once I, had gotten the acceptance. I was kind of on the fence on w between like two or three schools. And what really came down to it was not only the family feel that I, that I really felt when I was there, but you know, it's the, it's the details about the program. Um, for one, there's only 65 students in my class, which is, ex which is pretty low for, you know, as far as the national average. Um, the faculty to student ratio is a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. um, so there would be, I felt that that would be getting a little bit more personalized uh, teachings as far as my education goes. And uh, just the overall uh, structure of the clinic. Like it's a huge clinically driven uh, curriculum, which is exactly what I wanted. You know, one of my goals for choosing a dental school was I wanted to go to a school where I would be, uh, the, I would have the best clinical knowledge that I could get. And I thought University of Kentucky would, would provide that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. And so you're in your first year, mm -hmm. obviously uh, things have been adjusted a little bit, but um, just a little, it's just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. What is a typical, or like what was your D1 year supposed to be like, uh, as far as like didactics, as far as, uh, you know, I mean, you talked about, I mean, hand pieces, I'm, I'm assuming you all have been doing, um, and your clinical exposure, like what's the whole D1 year experience at Kentucky like? Yeah, so another benefit of, of UK is uh, they really immerse the students straight into the clinic as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have our didactic classes. We're pretty much in uh, you, the hardcore sciences from eight to maybe about one, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes two. And then from two to five, we're either in the clinic, uh, we're either in uh, D611, which is our like lab, where we have all of our mannequins and our hand pieces drilling on fake teeth. Um, and that's pretty consistent. I mean, it's a, it's a rigorous program, um, Monday through Friday, but uh, we do get a couple breaks here and there within the week, whether it be a 10 a.m. start instead of, a, of an eight, uh, or a 10 a.m. start instead of an 8 a.m. start. But uh, 
it's uh, it's pretty rigorous between it, and it's pretty consistent between the balance of uh, didactic and clinic. And that's, I mean, that's awesome though, you know, because a lot of schools, it's not balanced at all. <laughs> you know? um, or sometimes it starts a little later. Um, I know I had a couple friends at other various schools that really didn't start drilling, doing class one preps until this past January to where we were doing uh, class one preps, class two in the beginning of our first year. So we were a little, we were months ahead of, of a couple of other schools that I, uh, that I had the privilege of talking to a couple of classmates and friends. Okay, and so kind of, that kind of rolls into the next question. Um, because you have other friends at other dental schools, What's something, I mean, Granny, you've, you've talked about some of the unique qualities of uh, UK so far, but uh, what is something, another thing, I guess, that you found unique to UK Zen School? Um, I would definitely have to say the, the, early, the early clinical interactions. Um, a couple of my friends said, you know, they weren't going to really see patients until, you know, second year. Some, some even said third year. And we saw patients our first semester. Mm -hmm. um, we have one thing that UK does really well is uh, outreach programs. So our first semester, it's really a tradition for, uh, for UK, is we do um, a student outreach program. It's called the Sealant Trip. Mm -hmm. So all the first year students, uh, we get broken up into two, three teams. And we travel two, three hours away to a... Uh, little bit smaller town in Kentucky and we provide free cleanings and sealants to the uh, young children of an elementary school. So I thought that was extremely uh, impressive that the school really guides you and gives you the resources to do these uh, minor procedures so early in our dental education. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And so uh, for the last question of the interview, if you could go back in time while you were going through the application cycle, what's something, what's one piece of advice that you would give to yourself? And it's very, yeah. you know, that could be, you know, with regards to the application, with regards to like your, your mental while you're going through it, whatever you want, what would be that one piece of advice? Man, I would have to say uh, to just relax. You know, there was one thing, because I was a little bit later acceptance, I was freaking out freaking out about not getting in, freaking, about, freaking out about what my next move was. And uh, I would just say, stay positive, you know, keep grinding, keep going, keep moving forward. And uh, if you have uh, some free time, take it, go to the beach, you know, go for the bike ride, go for the hike, because, uh, you know, any dental school, it's going to be a rigorous program. And uh, that's one thing that I definitely – took for granted was the ability to, you know, have a day to just spend it on me, you know, go hang out with friends. So I would say, take a step back, relax and enjoy the moment. Wise words, wise words. Chase, if anybody has uh, any questions for you, what is the best way uh, that they can reach out? Yeah, uh, by email. I'll, uh, I'll give you my, uh, my school email. You can post it, whatever. Yeah, I'm open to it. Uh, you know as well as I do, you're on that school email pretty much every day, a couple times a day. Especially now, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, keeping up with the next Zoom lecture. Yeah, right. Oh, man, it's, it's interesting times. Interesting times for everybody, definitely. But, but Chase, honestly, from the, the future DDS family, we want to say thank you so much, um, especially throughout this chaos. You know, we really do appreciate your time and your insight that you've been able to provide to all of us. Yeah, man. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Of course, man. Of course. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Um, if you have any questions for Terrell and I, you can uh, shoot over to Instagram and send us a DM at underscore future DDS, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But other than that, see y'all next time. Later, guys.